One of the things that I've always been interested in is understanding why species are distributed the way they are. For some species it's easy to understand, for others it's a little bit more complex. And this, the black bean, is a typical example. I'm a Bunjalung man from the Northern Rivers of New South Wales, and so I grew up with a very like intimate relationship with black bean. You know, at some point it's been created in this landscape, and then it's been kind of moved through the landscape. And this fruit produces very toxic seeds, and there is nothing that disperses that. No animal that we know. And it's not everywhere, so it's sort of almost like it's found its way in that landscape. It's buoyant, it floats on water, and can be dispersed along rivers. But the mystery here is that this particular species is found all the way 100 kilometers inland and 100 meters upland that cannot have traveled naturally through water courses. I suggested that perhaps I could have a look in the literature to see what had already been written about the species, if Aboriginal people were using them, if they'd moved them around. And so we wanted to ask the question, could it be that Aboriginal people dispersed these seeds across the landscape? As we say, if you're not a good hunter, you better be a good gatherer. When it comes to survival, this is one of our key ways to survive in the rainforest. Aboriginal people in the past used to consume this seed as staple food. These are highly productive, highly nutritious uh, seeds. Treat them for a few days to get rid of the toxic compounds, cook them and eat them in a damper became apparent that even though people knew that the black bean was used and eaten in the past, a lot of the knowledge wasn't being practised anymore, so it was something that was in the minds of older people. I was very interested in the idea of combining Western science with Indigenous science and knowledge to better understand the distribution of these species. We used a number of genetic tools to explore the DNA diversity across the species with the expectation that if these species had been dispersed by Aboriginal people, we would find a genetic signature that would suggest a recent and very rapid dispersal. And in fact, that's exactly what we found. The black bean has only been used for two to three thousand years. All the trees within northern New South Wales can be traced back to one maternal parent. Aboriginal people weren't simply hunter-gatherers that moved passively through the environment. They were actively manipulating their environment. It's particularly exciting for us to discover and confirm that Indigenous people have been manipulating plant community for a very long time. 